I can read Roberta Bondar, Space Explorer by Sarah Howden, pictures by Nick Crane. I'm the luckiest person on earth, Roberta said to herself. But she wasn't on earth. She was in space. The day before Roberta had boarded the space shuttle Discovery, it blasted off into the sky. The ride had been rocky, but the shuttle made it. Now it was circling around the earth. Roberta and the rest of the crew would be in space for eight days. There was no gravity in space. Everything was weightless. So Roberta was floating. Roberta's coffee cup stayed in midair when she let it go of it. You can't do that back home, she said with a smile. Just then, something caught Roberta's eye. Look, she said to her fellow astronauts. It's Earth. The planet filled the window. The other astronauts came to see. Roberta took some photos. I want people at home to see the view. She said, it's incredible. Roberta had wanted to be an astronaut since she was a kid. I want to see the stars up close, she told her parents. Roberta and her sister would pretend to be space explorers. I'm on planet Zoot, Roberta would say. I will bring back space samples to study. Roberta had always loved science. She loved it so much that her dad made her a lab in the basement. Roberta did science experiments. She also built model rockets. She was always dreaming of space. Roberta grew up and became a doctor. Doctors save lives, she said. It's the most important job there is. One day, the Canadian Space Agency put out a call for astronauts. This was Roberta's chance. Only six people will be chosen, the agency said. Thousands of people applied. Roberta got in. She trained for eight years. She learned to parachute. She learned how the shuttle worked. Finally, launch day arrived. The shuttle took off and Roberta became the first Canadian woman in space. Life on the shuttle was busy. Roberta did science experiments, just like when she was little. 
Roberta's job was to test how the human body changed in space. She discovered one thing by accident. I lost my glasses, Roberta told the crew, but I can still see. My eyes work better here, Roberta said, because there's no gravity. Roberta had brought a box of Girl Guide cookies on the shuttle. In a video to Earth, she juggled them for all to see. The cookies floated like magic. Everyone watching was amazed. Kids said, Space looks fun. One week later, Roberta was back on Earth. She had to get used to gravity again. Everything felt a lot heavier. Soon, Roberta was traveling to schools to talk about her trip. There is still a lot to learn, she said. So, we'll need more astronauts. Who wants to be an astronaut when they grow up, Roberta asked. Many kids raised their hands. They wanted to be just like Roberta. Do you want to be an astronaut? Maybe one day you can go to outer space too.